Hey, I just wanted to walk you through real quick on how to get uh, certain data in your CRM from the air call when it's connected to go high level. So if you've already set up the webhook for the inbound webhook that gets the call data, um, do that first. I have another video that goes over uh, getting post call data. Um, and actually this one is post call outcome. There's two different ones in air. One's called post call data webhook and one's called post call outcome. Um, I think you get more from the outcome is why I chose that one. So uh, set up your post call outcome webhook in air. Uh, can do the webhook here. Um, for this example, um, I have my call type. Uh, this is going to trigger off of my outbound API that does my reactivation campaign. And then it creates update the contact. And what that's saying is, hey, find the contact that matches the same phone number of uh, what's in the webhook. So that way it can either uh, create or update, but it's always going to be an update since I'm making the calls from go high level uh, directly from contacts that are already there. And then this is saying if the call duration is greater than 45 seconds, then continue. So basically that's going to deem it as a call made, something at least that I want my guide to review. So then we have a task for uh, my guide to review that. And then we do a call summary. And this is just adding a note. Um, this is an action in Go High Level where you can add note. And then when you get in the note, uh, you can add all sorts of different things about the call uh, from the webhook. And just to kind of show you what this looks like, uh, I'll actually just make another one here. You do note, add note. And then when you go to custom values, you just select the inbound webhook trigger, go to call, and then you can select, um, you know, the duration, the call recording URL is right here. So you can put that in the notes. Um, and you don't even have to put it in notes either. You could make a custom field for all this stuff. Uh, if you wanted to, but I wanted to be able to put it in notes. So that way, if I had repetitive calls, um, obviously notes allows you to keep adding them. Um, if it's a custom field, uh, it's just going to overwrite that data unless you do uh, some custom coding to that to add to it instead of overwrite it. So um, it was easy for me to just make a note. So it adds the data. Um, and then I tag it to review the call and then we create update uh, my opportunity and it actually moves the pipeline so that I can see that um, it's in one pipeline stage where it's making calls and then it goes to the next pipeline stage uh, if it's greater than 45 seconds. So it's easy for my guy to see that he needs to review that. So that's kind of my flow and that's how you get um, some of that uh, post-call outcome data and fields on the contact. Hope that helps.